I had to interrupt my, uh, I found a new zombie series, <laughs> like Z Nation or some shit, <laughs> I don't know, it's, woo, anyway, uh, Magna, you, you see what's going on here, oh, <laughs> near Earth, not on Earth, but near Earth, you're talking about up here, there, uh, something we were talking about, uh, yesterday in the oscilloscope when you have the, the arrows in your sky. Uh, that we can see in the clouds. It's the magnetic switchback near Earth, the zigzag in the magnetic field at the edge. They're talking about the fucking polarities changing <laughs> in, uh, well, uh, okay, so I've talked about this magnetic reconnection line right here. It doesn't belong there. It keeps crinkling up around the planet. It's got on both edges here. Um, but that, that shouldn't be there. And that's what that uh, article's about, the magnetic reconnection lines and the switching polarities. Uh, they're blaming the sun, sun, of course, which magnetic reversals. That's it. it oh, my God. <laughs> This is something Timmy was calling me out on. I kept saying, no, dude, no. And there's an actual article now that backs me. That shouldn't be happening. This is the first time ever. But it's not the first time. We've been watching it develop to the point that people are... Oh, hang on. Okay. Um, that was Mike's neighbor, Christine. Uh, <laughs> read this shit. It reveals that the switchbacks are common near the sun, but their origin has been debated. Um, this is what I, I mean. This is okay. So, anyways, again, Timmy, <laughs> this is abnormal. And they're making up excuses for the polarity switches in these fucking maps. And uh, I have been pointing them out for years before NASA probes caught them. And Well, they've been studying them for a while, too. But that magnetic reconnection line right there does not belong. And it's been there since the day Ra showed up. Okay? They're making excuses for shit that we've been calling out. Just like, you know, <laughs> it ain't because the grain died. No. <laughs> I think we already went over that, didn't we? Didn't I show you where the, actually the, the, the fuck, even Wikipedia says that they had to kill off the fucking cows because there was no grain. The grain died. What do you want? Look, Koss heard Lewis 75 years why. That was literally what came out of my typing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So anyways, <laughs> it knew what I was talking about, me. Oh, years of drought, the grain, the grain to grain ranchers have faced record high costs and shit, incentives to sell when beef were, uh, and then they, they sold off their fucking shit because they didn't have any goddamn food. No food. The grain had died. The grain had died because of magnetic reversals here, which they don't know where they're coming from. It's funny, I've been pointing them out, and this fucking Timmy guy keeps saying I'm crazy. And I'm all like, well, I, so I felt like it was prudent to share that, you know, they're actually saying the same thing I, 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 I am, but they're leaving it a mystery. I'm, I'm not going to talk about anything unless I understand where it's coming from, what makes it happen. So I made videos and I, I don't know if, if you want to know what's going on, you'll go looking. So for all you new people, let me show you something. 
This is my post section on my home page. See my home page there? It's a home page. I got a link down here to Homebrewed. He's got a picture of uh, Horace's box, the mid uh, the mid afternoon shot, and uh, well, you'll learn about that over here. So, you, this is a good one, but that's not mine. See, that's not my thumbnail. That's not my thumbnail. Neither is that one. So you scroll on down here. You know what? I made this post, and it's still just true. No eating raw cannabis will not make you high. It can't. You have to deboxylate it. I was talking about the color of the fucking uh, auroras. They've changed drastically. So, and then he's talking smack over here. Now, down here, you see that? Right there? That's my video. I made that. See that thumbnail? Yeah, you'll get to know that thumbnail. This one, I didn't make. This one, I did. This one, I did. I did, didn't do that. That's John. That's homebrewed. This one right here is probably critical to your survival. Your human resonance is spiking, and it may mean your death. Now, this is totally Professor Schumann's research. I don't do much talking in it. Um, here you go. This is, we live on an egg, and I'll show you the working models. I mean, it's not a computer-drawn program. I'll show you how fucking physics works. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see these. All of these have my thumbnail. Turtle Island. How to a star. Now this one right here, raw mapped, it's going to tell you why I stood down as top senatorial advisor to Senator Jim Davis, Republican in North Carolina for several years. Uh, my works include uh, the first unanimous decision in North Carolina's history against the federally implemented core curriculum. Uh, it, also, I authored the Davis Hemp Bill, uh, 2014 Farm Bill, forced federal legalization of uh, CBD hemp until just recently I kind of got out of it figured 300 million of you could hold CBD legal I don't know I guess not it's fucking sad I'm not fighting for it again fuck all of y'all you get it legal uh, the reason I stood down is because of uh, the plan for civil war uh, I've literally said since 2014 time stamped and, and over here verbally on my Facebook, everywhere, uh, since 2014, that they want you angry and pulling politicians out of their places and hanging them. And I keep saying, don't take the fucking bait. Don't take the fucking bait, because that's what they want. They want a three-quarters population drop, and they want it global, because they know about what I'm showing you over here. And you can either look or not. I don't really give a fuck. You know why? Your safety is up to you not me. So I showed you the big depth of digging. You might have to go through six goddamn posts to get some really life-altering, life-changing, life-saving information. Some amazing information that your elites have held from you for centuries. Some of it they didn't even know themselves. Truly, if you read the words of the gods, you get put down that fucking book review Let's, let's get real, okay? We're adults here. Rome took some books, and they made a book review about those books. You're waving around a book review that has been handed down to generations of English noblemen, and you're trying to talk about Jesus to me. Read the original book, then we can talk. I'm not going to fucking put my eternal soul on a book report, especially if I read the book that the fucking book report's about. Grow up. Read the fucking cuneiform. Read about Enlil and Inky and your little fucking turtle 13-month calendar guy and what happened in reality. It's not my responsibility. I'm showing you what I learned. 
You can call me names, anything you like. I don't care. They've tried to fucking kill me. This is information they don't want you to have. Thousands do now. Millions, for all I know. It's been getting out there. Even my fucking best troll fucking sits here. He'll read my old words when I stood down talking about Christmas. I, they referred to Christmas to me. I didn't know it wasn't going to be that or the next Christmas until I started reading hieroglyphs and understanding what we were drawing on the walls. I was like, oh my God, 15 years, huh? Guess what? 15 years ended in October. We're supposed to be slated for 12 months of fucking insanity until the three sons sing their reset chord in a conflagrated Nova event. Earth couldn't survive it. She needs your magnet. You happen to have one in your chest with a heart sack of brain around it that contains your memories and your emotions. You're a fucking healer and a steward. And we have found the blueprint. Now, if you want to look at it, fine. You want to go fucking telling me Jeebus is going to save me? I'm not going to talk to you. You need to read the original book that Rome was writing about to understand where I'm coming from.